as we sit here now, just a few days away from World Cup 2022, knowing everything we do, squad still to be announced. Who is your pick for the tournament? Uh, who do you think ultimately on the 18th of December will be lifting that trophy into the Qatar night sky? I'm going to go a little bit nostalgic here because it's, uh, it's probably the last tournament, but um, I think I'm going to go Argentina. Six to one Argentina, last tournament for a certain Lionel Messi, the likes of Lautaro Martinez, the likes of Paolo Dybala, so much quality if they can pull it all together. But you like them. Yeah, and a good goalkeeper as well. Um, you know, they're going to they're gonna be, or they are one of the favorites, and they're gonna, uh, they'll be very difficult to beat. You know, I, I look at world greats or world greats for a reason, usually because uh, along with their stats, they win trophies. Um, Ronaldo got his in the uh, in the European Championships, um, and uh, it would for as good as Lionel Messi's been um, to cap it off with a World Cup win. I, I think uh, I don't think too many people would argue it. And of course, he'll handle the pressure to perform Messi his last World Cup, the fairy tale story. Uh, what about you? Talk about Messi. What about Ronaldo? Because uh, Portugal go into this. Yet again, Ronaldo's nearly 38 years of age. He's three years older than Messi. And their group is anything but a walkover, the Portuguese. They're in Group H. They find themselves brought up against Uruguay, who, of course, semi-finalists against France in 2018. At Ghana and the ultra-fit South Korea. That's not straightforward. Could Portugal be one of those big guns who are taking an early bath? They could over the years, like the uh, take Ronaldo. Ronaldo's you know on a different stratosphere than than uh, most every other you know most every player to play the game. But a lot of times when the when uh, Portugal's gone into tournaments, um, I've I've thought, oh, you know, this might be the time that they're really three and out, and and they they manage to get into the knockout stages. And it, a lot of the times, it's been because of. Uh, Ronaldo's brilliance um, and and obviously a cast of characters that were very good. Um, I don't see them as much as a threat this World Cup. Um, maybe it's because of um, maybe it's because of the age of Ronaldo. But don't take away that we could see Ronaldo given one one last uh, hurrah for his for his. Uh, for his national team and his country, you know, I, I don't, I don't think they have what it takes to win it. I, I really, I really don't from top to bottom in their squad. Um, but to get through the, uh, get through the group and get into the, uh, the larger knockout games, uh, I, you can't, you just can't discount these, uh, the world greats. It's one of those. One of the, got recent winning pedigree from 2016 as well. Correct. Um, it's like, it's like whenever like Wales steps on the field, if Gareth Bale's fully fit, I'll never discount him because I know how how good he can be. And it's you know these these guys uh, they're greats for a reason. 